some tips to be aware of. If you try and connect interfaces to these appliances while they're running, notice we told that that's not possible. In this version of GNS3, 1.5.x, these appliances have to be turned off for you to add the links to them. In addition, you can't start Wireshark captures on these appliances directly. So what we should do is save our configuration, if not done already, power these devices off. And now as an example, we can add a hub to the topology. In this example, I'll run the hub on the GNS3 VM. I'll now be able to connect the links between these switches. So as an example, I could add another link here and connect links to other devices. The reason for adding the hub is so that we can do Wireshark captures. So as an example now, I'll be able to start a Wireshark capture because that's running on the hub rather than running on the appliance. So now as an example, we can see EIGRP advertisements from switch one. We can see the autonomous system number as an example. Here's switch two with IP address 10112, sending an advertisement to the well-known EIGRP multicast address of 2240010 with autonomous system 100. So two tips. You need to, in this version of GNS3, shut down the appliances before you can add links and to capture traffic using Wireshark at a hub to your topology. This may not be true for all appliances, but it's true for the Cisco IOS V Layer 2 appliance. In version 2 of GNS3, you may be able to add links directly when the devices are up and also capture packets directly without the use of a hub.